Hey, it's Paul Coneshot here with Birdtail Waterfowl. I want to give you the top five crane hunting tips. Tip number one, concealment. Blend into the natural cover. What we do is we, we cut grass, we cut willows down, and we bury in. That's, that's our number one thing for crane hunting. Tip two, shot placement. A lot of times when you get cranes in the decoys, they're coming in actually fairly tight. Once they get their feet down, take your time on your first shot and your second shot. They will, once they see you, they'll actually spread out and just take your time on your shots. Follow through. Tip number three would be calling. Uh, Sandhill cranes are extremely vocal. They have a wide, wide vocabulary. Um, biggest thing is obviously not to overcall them, but give them a little bit of confidence while they're coming in. And once they're within 60, 70 yards, just be quiet. Let them come. Tip number four would be a backboard and ghillie blanket. That's what we use for hunting cranes. That would be our blind. We like it because it's extremely low profile and you're able to basically pile natural cover up on you and blend right in. And obviously you have to have your face covered, just like turkey hunting. You gotta be covered right up, just your eyes showing. And then wear a hat so you can cut the sun if, it, if you are facing the sun. Tip number five, decoy spread. What we use are full body decoys. And when you're hunting cranes, you have to have multiple runways. Um, and you have to have a runway that runs perpendicular to the wind. Cranes are a little different. They will actually approach uh, slipping. And what I mean by that is they'll actually be in a cup position, kind of sliding perpendicular to the wind through the spread. And a lot of times that's, that's our shot. Those are my top five crane hunting tips and I hope they're useful to you on your next crane hunting trip.